So I already posted a uh, video of me doing a block diagram reduction uh, with a naive approach. And in the naive approach, uh, I labeled all the nodes and I went through all the equations for all the nodes and then just did simple algebraic reduction of all those until I got the transfer function out. Uh, in this video, <coughs> I'm going to be going over problem six of the homework. And basically, I'm just going to, instead of actually going through it in that very verbose fashion, I'm going to just apply the sort of uh, block diagram reduction rules. Um, so the main rules that I'll be applying is basically uh, blocks in parallel uh, with a, uh, that are followed by a summer, simply sum in the transfer function, and also be applying the feedback rule where if I have a forward gain g and a feedback gain h, then the transfer function of that small loop is just the forward gain over 1 plus the forward gain in the first gain, or um, g over 1 plus gh. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do on problem 6 is I'm going to take these two blocks, g2 and g3, and I'm going to combine them. They're in parallel. I can break everything else out and just say, okay, this after here is just going to be the sum of the effect of g2 and g3. So what I can do is I can just replace that with the sum of the two, like so. Okay. okay, So that was my first step. My second step, this loop at the end here, G6, this actually is a small feedback loop by itself. I can just move this out and just say, okay, I have a little feedback loop here. That means that I can break this out with the feedback gain equation, which is G over one plus GH. The, the feedback gain H here is one, the forward gain is G6. So I'm gonna just replace that with, um, uh, this transfer function and just break that feedback loop and just give me one gain block right there. Okay. All right, so now I've done those two things. Uh, the next step is probably the most complicated step in this whole process. Uh, what we want to do is we want to sort of uh, make these loops more manageable. And to do that, we're going to take this G2, G3 block and actually push it to the right so that we break it up into both of these loops. So essentially, we just move that gain over. So we push it up here and push it over here and basically push it out of that sort of this part of the loop right here, what's going to happen is that then this feedback gain is going to be G1 times G2 plus G3, and this forward gain over here is going to be G2 plus G3 times G5. Okay. Okay. So the purpose of doing that now is that we have this simple feedback loop here and this forward loop, all th all two of these forward um, paths to this summer are actually in parallel now. So now we can apply the summing rule here and we can apply the feedback rule here. Okay, because we can just, the, the location of these two nodes is not important. Like we can sort of take these lines and push them so one happens before the other. As long as they're all in the same nodes, you can redraw it any way you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this forward path and this forward path are in parallel with each other. So we're going to multiply these, these two and then add it to G4 to give me this. As you can tell, the system looks much simpler now. Now that basically this summer has gone, uh, all the... The main summer here that had a whole bunch of stuff going into it and the feedback loop is all gone. We just have this forward gain and this forward gain and then this small feedback gain here. But you can see that that's independent of anything else. Like we can just break it out in its own little entity. We can simplify that with these two forward gains and then we just have one larger feedback gain. So again, I can simplify this sort of feedback loop using the G over one plus GH. The forward gain here is just one and the feedback gain is this G uh, times G two plus G three. Okay, so now you can see we have a really simple system where we have one solid forward gain. The forward gain is complicated, but all it is is the product of these three things. So if we relabel these um, A1, A2, and A3, then we have a very simple uh, forward gain of A1 times A2 times A3 and a feedback gain of G7. And we can just use, again, the feedback equation g over 1 plus gh to give us the final transfer function of this. r over c is equal to a1, a2, a3 over 1 plus g7 times a1, a2, a3. Okay. 
For homework, I obviously would want you to simplify this expression. Thank you very much.